Hey, what is going on you guys? Crazy Gubano back once again, and today I'm going to be doing a new video for you guys. Sorry for the lack of content, but you know, hey, I've been working a lot of overtime, six days a week, you know, just crazy shit like that. But, I'm here back again with a new video, and today's going to be a part two. It's going to be a two-part video of my PS2 collection. I got a lot of games, you know, definitely something good to talk about each game, so... Uh, that's why I'm going to make a two-part video, and I want to give a special thanks to Colin Bree for making this video happen. She actually submitted the request, and unfortunately, I do apologize. It took a long time for me to make this video, but I'm making it better late than ever. So definitely check her out, you guys. I will leave the link on the bottom below. She does video game system reviews and also reviews of uh, different flavors of Monster Energy drinks because she's a really big fan of that and a bunch of other cool stuff like that. So definitely check her out, you guys, if you do have the chance. And I uh, just wanted to also uh, make a little update video before I do the collection. So if you guys know, you know, hey, what's going on with your debt? I want to say I'm like 80% done with my debt. I just have to pay off um, one bank or so and then from there just pay off my uh, credit cards and stuff. But I mean, other than that, I'm able to pay the bills, the mortgage, and everything like that. Also helping out the mama. But, you know, been working a lot of overtime. You know, six days a week. Sometimes seven days a week. Only like one day to relax. Sometimes no days. You know, just really trying to get that money to really get out of that debt sooner. And also, I'm saving up for a really, really big pickup that I'm working on. You know, I'm trying to... It's a, it's a lot of games that I'm saving up for and I finally have an expected date I let the guy know he's a really cool guy in here on YouTube he's definitely hooked me up with an amazing deal on some amazing games so definitely check that out next month and also um, you know be saving up for that as well like I said and uh, the contest video like I, I said back then it will happen but I guess I kind of announced it too soon you know I really didn't uh, foresee the events that was going to happen with me and my family financially so you know uh, with stuff like that I had to sell a lot of games if you guys knew you know I sold some things to people I also sold some things to friends outside of YouTube you know uh, work buddies or outside friends you know skateboarding friends I had to sell a lot of things you know things were going really really bad at a point you know like in April things went really rough so, you know, unfortunately, I had to sell some stuff, including the prize stuff. But don't you worry, guys. I will rebuy those on eBay. I will rebuy the stuff in the original box. And um, I, last time I checked, I had 574 subscribers. So, once I hit 600 subscribers, I will make a contest video. Guarantee. No bullshit. I'm going to bring you guys the real stuff. Uh, once I reach 600 subs, I will make the contest video. And the stuff that I did sell that was supposed to be part of the contest, I will rebuy it from eBay and, you know, put them off as, um, you know, contest prices. And also, once I reach 600, uh, it'll give me a, um, it'll probably give me enough time to get more stuff if I do come across more stuff in the wild to put as a uh, contest prizes. So that'll give me more time to see what stuff I really want to put for the contest. So. Uh, once I reach 600 subs, that's when, you know, you guys will definitely be expecting a contest video. So let's go ahead and let me shut the fuck up, and let's go ahead and get with this PS2 collection. So, two-part video, and uh, what better way to start off with the games that I really don't give a shit about. So, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this off. So, first off, uh, Cool Borders 2001, uh, not too great, Evil Dead Regeneration. Uh, most of these games I actually got from a lot from a friend of mine who sold me a bunch of his collection for a really good price back then. So all these games ugh, didn't really care for. Madden 2003, Spy Hunter, Mad Molestro, Sims Busting Out, True Crime Streets of LA. Ah, don't really care for the games, but everything else that I do have and I'm about to show you, I do care about. So let's go ahead and start off with this one game right here. Midway Arcade Chargers 2. The main reason why I got this game is because it came with Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, which is a near perfect port of the arcade original. It comes with a bunch of other great games as well, like Zybots, Wizard of War, uh, Rampage World Tour, Arch Rivals, and a bunch of other Midway classics. Uh, Primal Rage, another great fighting game. So definitely pick that up, you guys, if you're into um, 
you know, midway games from the 80s and 90s, if, or if you want to get Mortal Kombat 2 and 3 arcade versions. Uh, next up is Pac-Man Fever. I really do like this game, even though it is a Mario Party ripoff, except with Napco characters. You know, you got Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. You know, um, uh, I forgot this guy's name, but he's from Soul Calibur. Heihachi and Tiger from Tekken, and the girl from Ridge Racer. There's only three worlds in this game, but you know, the mini games are kind of fun. I did get a kick out of the game, I do enjoy it. Gran Turismo 3. I actually have this game way back from like 2002 when we originally got our PS2. This was bundled with the system. Great racing game. I have a lot of memories, you know, spending a lot of hours on this game, you know, entering a lot of the different races, getting the license to enter in certain races. Uh, I remember at one point I would spend two hours on this game, you know, because there were certain uh, courses where you would race for about two hours. And once you completed that two hour race, you'd get like a new car and you get like a million dollars to upgrade your car, buy new ones. And it was a man, definitely had a really good blast with this game. Definitely very fun. Uh, here's another game don't really care about. I forgot to add that to the list. Spyro to the Dragonfly. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really into the Spyro games. Uh, DDR Max. I got this game because, you know, I'm starting to see into uh, DDR games. It's very good to, you know, to lose weight for cardio. Um, I've actually been playing this a lot. You know, got me slimming down on a few pounds. So, definitely got to have this to thank. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Man, this is an amazing game. If you guys haven't checked this out, if you guys play Gauntlet Legends, this is a big improvement over Gauntlet Legends. Four more worlds, um, you know, with a total of eight worlds, you know, unlike uh, Gauntlet Legends only give you four, plus the secret world like the battlefield. And uh, a lot of new weapons. Uh, I think it's also a different way to unlock the characters. In Gauntlet Legends, you have to beat the game with a certain character to unlock the other character was, was just a more powerful version of the character. Now in this one you have to do a little um, you have to travel in this maze to collect all the coins and then from there you unlock the new characters. But you know this is definitely a big improvement over Gauntlet Legends. If you guys have never played this game definitely give it a try. It's a very very fun action RPG game. It does have RPG elements because you do level up your character as you progress through the world and as you progress through the game. So very fun game. Uh, GoldenEye Rouge Agent. I actually got this from a really cool YouTuber, Nui1. Unfortunately, he is not around anymore. But, you know, when he was around, uh, he, I traded this game with him. I forgot what game I gave to him, but I uh, give this a shot. Not as good as Double I, uh, 007, but Double I, I don't know when I said that. But, I mean, it's a still a pretty fun game nonetheless. Uh, Sean Palmer's Poor Snowboarding. I mean, I got this because it's kind of similar to Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Uh, not that bad of a game, but speaking of Tony Hawk, uh, uh -huh, got some Tony Hawk games by her. Tony Hawk 3, 4, Underground, Underground 2, and American Wasteland. My favorite of the bunch was Tony Hawk Underground because the soundtrack was amazing. The innovation behind the game was really cool. You know, you're actually able to take a picture of yourself and you were able to play as yourself in the game, you know. And, you know, you start off as a young kid, you know, skateboarding, trying to get recognized by different you know skateboarding sponsor companies trying to get your name out there and you know first game you were able to get off your board a bunch of do a lot of crazy missions and stuff like that um, you know definitely gotta love the Tony Hawk games I am a skater myself so I definitely gotta appreciate those games next up Sonic Mega Collection Plus which comes with seven games from Sonic for the Genesis plus uh, six Game Gear titles and a bunch of uh, bonus secrets and stuff like that. You're actually able to look at the manuals of every Genesis game. I don't know about the Game Gear games, but the Genesis game you're able to look at the manuals, the original manuals from the Genesis games. So that was definitely a really cool aspect and a bunch of different artwork from the games. So that was definitely really cool. Uh, next up we got the Unimusha series. Definitely a great series from Capcom. Uh, you can definitely pick up these games for very, very cheap prices. I GameStop or at, your, or at your local game store. Um, games that I do rec definitely have to recommend to you guys. Seminos, uh, oh, Seminos, okay. Onimusha 2, it's about this guy named Jubei where he's trying to get revenge on the people who messed up 
completely destroyed his village, um, causing a lot of lives lost, you know, killing a lot of people. And it's up to you to find out who did it and to kill them. So, you know, you also come across a lot of cool characters along the way. Um, definitely a great game. And then this one right here, Onimusha 3 Demon Siege, where you play as Oni uh, Samonosuke from the original one. And Jean-Claude, I think his name is. And you're going around having to stop Nobunaga because he has the power to um, teleport throughout different time eras, you know, from medieval Japan to modern day France, creating a lot of havoc, and it's up to you to stop him. So, you know, you pretty much team up with these two guys traveling across time to stopping puzzles. And the cool thing about it is, like, you know, what you, when you do something in uh, one time era, it'll affect the the future or if you do something in the future it'll affect the past so you know the game mechanic of this game is really weird but you know you really have to play it to understand it uh, very good story mode you know but definitely a very very fun game uh, I still have to go back and beat it and then Onimusha Blade Warriors this is pretty much uh, Super Smash Brothers but with the Onimusha characters from uh, 1 through 2 24 playable characters you know there's a lot of characters you have to unlock the first character I had to unlock in this game was hard as shit. I mean, a lot of the characters are really hard to, you know, play as or to unlock. So, definitely a hard game, but definitely really fun if you are into the Onimusha series like I am. Uh, Need for Speed Underground 2, definitely a very fun racing game. I love the fact that you were able to use a lot of different ways to, you know, customize your cars as you uh, progress through the races and, uh, and you know, use the prize money to, you know, when you beat the races. I haven't played this one in a while, but, you know, definitely have to go back to it. I do enjoy, you know, customizing the cars and racing them. So not bad of a game. Uh, Simpsons Road Rage. See this one right here. This is similar to the likes of Crazy Taxi, where you have to get, pick up people and take them from one point to another without freaking crashing through everybody, but not a bad game. And uh, last game for this part. Oh, shit. Alright, so last game for this part one is The Warriors, based off the 1979 classic, where you are known as The Warriors, and your gang is wrongly accused of killing a supreme leader, and you know, you gotta prove your innocence, and also going to the different hoods around New York to battle your way, you know, to make, to make sure none of the gangs mess with you or none of that stuff. Completing a lot of crazy missions and mostly just be beating the living crap out of people. So definitely a very fun game if you haven't checked it out. So yeah guys, that was part one of a little update and PS2 collection. Like I said, special thanks to Colin and Bree. Check out for part two coming very soon. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. God bless. Take care. Until then, this is Crazy Gabano. And look out for part two, everybody. Peace.